Hey, I'm Bob with Bob and Tam's Excellent Adventures. Today we are heading to Bayview Campground. It's a coast to coast campground. You need to watch all the way to the end because there's something special in here just for your lovable pet. So stay tuned. So there was a sign for uh, coming in. They've got it posted both directions. That direction has the large bridge that goes across the water. Coming from that direction, you'd be coming from Rockport. A little harder to get in here because the road drops down to just a one way each way. From the other way, it's a lot easier to get in. So you would just pull in here. They don't like you to stop in this area. They want you to make a left-hand turn and there's a sign over there which will show you that says for RVs to stop here. Hours are nine to four, Monday through Saturday. Uh, Sunday, they're closed all day. They, have, they do take packages here and uh, have shipped in, so that's kind of a nice thing. This is where they keep registration forms for at night that you can pick up if you're here after they close. All right, this is the hot tub over here in this area. We didn't have a chance while we were here to check this out. Stuck our hand in, it's pretty hot. So I had an area over here that had a grill. You want the barbecue up here. They also have bathrooms up here. One shower, more of a rinse off shower. There's the heated pool. So right now this is the only pool that is open. This used to be the adult lounge here, which is now their office. You can get your mail brought here. Uh, I've seen packages in there. There's our RV. Still a really foggy day today. This here is the family pool clubhouse area. This is considered their off season and this pool is not heated so they have the pool and the hot tub here shut down. Lots of golf carts here so if you have a golf cart bring it along. Clubhouse is open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Not allowed to bring your dogs in here or any other pets. They must have a lot of issues with fireworks because everywhere I go it says absolutely no fireworks allowed. I have not heard any fireworks since we've been here though. All right, they have some uh, restrooms in here. Here's a board with things that are going on. The Valentine's Day dinner here, we kind of missed that. Came in on Valentine's Day and they already had everything booked up. We have some pool tables, three. They have pretty many uh, Activities going on all here pretty much every day. And then once again, this is the family area. So I've got a ping pong table here. Also got a uh, foosball. Even got some darts. So need something extra to. Uh, there's the campground here. You have quite a few spots. This area here is still out. They have a water problem over there. This is kind of a map of the general area. This is looking unheated pool out here. We can get good enough here and we'll have to go outside and look at that. They've got it all closed down right now, but uh, the pool's pretty clean. There's a hot tub over there underneath that plywood. They've got their own bathrooms. That's another one of the shower houses that you can get to from the other side. On the other side of that fence is a small pond. Uh, you can do fishing and things in. They had a dock there, but it uh, looks like the hurricane kind of took most of that out. We'll look at that if it clears up a little bit more today. This is the laundry room. Uh, runs 175 for the washer and the dryers. There's four and four. Uh, we came in this morning, a Monday morning, and there was nobody here. That's a good thing. So, pretty good. Got a place for you to sit. I'm not quite sure what this used to be. All the windows are boarded up. Uh, this campground suffered the hurricane in 2017. So a lot of the destruction here is still left over. They haven't recuperated from everything yet. Check them out, they're very clean. It's pretty modernized. 
Give an A plus for this. And they all pretty much look like this. There's several of them here on the property. There's two shower houses and three sets of restrooms. The extra set is in the recreation hall. Here's the dog park. Not too bad of a size if there's not too many dogs in here. Kind of a hazy, foggy day today. Humidity's really high. Similar to the marine layer in uh, California. All right, we had full hookups here. We had 30 amp, 50 amp, uh, water, sewer hookup. Uh, pretty fairly level spots here. Uh, they also offer cable, which is an additional $3 a day for cable. Uh, this is a coast-to-coast -coast campground. It is open to the public, so you're able to uh, come in. With Coast to Coast, we're a premier member, so the campground for free, they did have a $10 premium fee that you had to pay. Also $3 for the cable, I don't know if I said that. This is our campsite here. We had a really big area in front of our trailer. People next to us never were here. This park doesn't really have any park models other than the one that's right across from us. But most of the trailers here look like they were in pretty good shape. They had a lot of activities going on that you had to sign up. If they have any major events going on before you get here, uh, for instance, Valentine's Day, we showed up here on Valentine's Day, and we were unable to get involved with their dinner. If you want to come out and there's a big weekend going on, you might want to call ahead and see what they have going on so you can pre-book if you want to be involved with that. Uh, they had poker. They pickleball they have all different kinds of events they even have wee bowling i think that's today they're going to do that so they have a lot of events you can check out uh you may even call and they could probably send you the activity sheet the week you're going to be here there's a gravel road and some speed bumps kicks up a lot of dust a lot of cars coming through here all night long i assume there's some people here that actually work maybe in town and they live here and get monthly rates we met a few people that are here for a few months a couple people from Canada from Wisconsin another one from Oklahoma that's here just a week they're actually leaving tomorrow not a bad campground got a lot of oak trees you'll have to watch the video of the town here there's a lot of things to see in the town check out here in Rockport Lamar and we'll have a follow-up video on that that you definitely need to check out because it is kind of a quaint little town that you want to take a look at up this road, they're going to have some motel rooms. Said due to uh, the hurricane, Harvey, they were unable, had some trouble with the building, and they were doing repairs to it. Since we've been here, I haven't seen anybody working on this building. Here's a small little lake that they have here at the campground. You can see from, that's the one where we took the look from the back of the pool. You can see the water there. That's the clubhouse, the family clubhouse. Horseshoes. On the other side over there is the bathrooms, shower rooms, pickleball court. The dock that they have isn't safe to go on. Here is that moment that I wanted to tell you about that it's the very unique thing that you, I haven't seen at another campground. Let's go take a look and see what it is. It's Rose Hill Pet Cemetery. So I'm assuming it's the ones that live here are permanent that get to bury their animals here. We're gonna go ahead and wrap the video up right here. After seeing the pet cemetery, I think that's a good place to wrap her up. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're looking for more viewers. We're up, as of when this one was filmed, we had 185 subscribers. That's really great, but we've got a goal of trying to get to 1,000. So make sure you ring that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. And if you like the comments, put one down in the bottom. Add a comment. Let us know what you think about our videos, what we can do to make them a little bit better. So we'd love to hear from you. Please comment. We'll write you back, I promise. And please subscribe because we have to grow our channel. And the only way it's going to grow is if you subscribe. So we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. See ya. Oh, we're not supposed to say bye. <laughs>